Good morning, this is Travis from A Faithful Dad, or a ministry that encourages dads and families right where they are. We are breaking from form here, and instead of doing teasers up to a Sunday message, we are celebrating the most important week of all weeks, for the, that, that culminates in the most important day of all days. Jesus rising from the dead on Easter, Resurrection Sunday. It's such an exciting time. So what we're doing this week for A Faithful Dead Speaks, our video ministry, is just reading out of the scriptures. Thursday, you know, and, you know the, the gospel, you know, chronologically here during this most holy of weeks. Thursday is filled with activity, filled with scripture. I mean, you could do a doctoral dissertation on what we heard just on Thursday alone. So it was hard to pick a scripture, but I'm going to pick a block of John 17. And John is my favorite of all, all, all the books in the Bible. John, I just love John. I love John's heart for the Lord. And John just gets into, you know, it, this is just straight Jesus. If you have a red letter edition of the Bible, there's no more uh, red letters in a row than the five chapters of John 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Five straight chapters of Jesus talking. My heart just starts beating. So I want to read to you from John 17, this is where Jesus prays. Several different facets, but I'm just going to read it, not give any commentary, and just let God's word speak and be blessed. John 17. Jesus prays to be glorified. After Jesus said this, he looked toward heaven and prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people, that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Jesus prays for his disciples. I have revealed to you those, I have revealed to you, I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me and they have obeyed your word. Now they know everything you have given me comes from you. For I gave them the words you gave me and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you and they believe that you sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine. And glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the power you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by that name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction, so that scripture would be fulfilled. I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world, so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, for they are not of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified and finally, Jesus prays for all believers. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you have gave me, that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. I and them and you and me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them even as you love me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am, 
and to see my glory, the glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Righteous Father, though the world does not know you, I know you, and they know you have sent me. I made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I may, myself may be in them. Wow, praise the Lord. Jesus praying, John chapter 17. Enjoy this week and looking forward to Resurrection Sunday. God bless, amen.